Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 1.30 p.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. session of the 2021 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, Hybrid Tech and Cross-Dimensional Thinking. Our speaker is James Neville, a.k.a. Sidar Madonna. James is the owner and practitioner in applied online collaboration. His specialties include systems analysts, analysis, excuse me, social media, team operation, and music composition. His research focus is the nature of virtual environments in human expression. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of sessions, and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during the session, you may send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag OSCC21. Welcome everyone, let's begin the session. Thank you, Galen. Uh, for those that are wondering where I am, I am sitting on top of my first slide. Before we get started, I have been asked to share with you that I stream a music composition channel four days a week on Twitch and that I recently presented to the European Law Student Association on privacy in the metaverse. I will also remind you in OpenSim that you can use Alt-Click to zoom in on the slides and for those on YouTube, greetings. I am watching you, so say hi, site, there if you're on YouTube. Please follow my avatar as she moves from slide to slide. First slide. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens across the physical and digital worlds, Thank you for your time and attention to this presentation on hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking sponsored by the Open Simulator Community Conference. My online name is Sidearm and my offline name is James. This presentation will give examples of hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking using physical and digital examples from the OSCC conference, medicine, e-learning, music, and training. During this presentation, I ask that every time you think of your own examples of hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking, you please jot them down for later sharing or even type yoink in chat. Thank you. Definitions. Hybrid tech means combining multiple tools, thank you Beth, to blend their strengths and balance their weaknesses relative to the needs at hand. The effective use of hybrid tech requires cross-dimensional thinking. Cross-dimensional thinking means shifting perspective again and again to try multiple tool blends to find those that best meet your use case. The guiding principle is that relevance trumps coolness. If it works, out, keep it. If it doesn't, make a note and move on. There are four key questions. One, what is the need being met? Two, what technologies are being blended? Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Four, is it working? If you have a smartphone handy right now, I invite you to scan the QR code on my first slide for a link to the slides on this page, including my references. One, what is the need being met? Having references for later use. Two, what technologies are being blended? QR code smartphone cam, Google Docs. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? In a Verbella conference last year, the speaker asked us to scan the code on their screen to download their app for a live demo. 
I tried it and I was amazed. It worked. I looked for a QR code generator to make one for my own website. Four, is it working? If using a QR code to point people to your URL material is relevant to you, please type yoink in chat. That includes you folks on YouTube. I'm watching there too. Hello back, Michael. Please look at the diagram on my slide just below the QR code. This is another example of hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking. The image on the background is a 3D symbolic, thank you, Beth, symbolic model called sieves and sliders. Thank you, Frank. On the right, the beads slide on rods like an abacus, adjusting the sluice bars on the left so that some kind of an optimal blend can come through. The image in the foreground is a 2D business process model. Tools, needs, and perspectives flow into a blender box in the middle coming out at the right with, again, some kind of optimal blend. One, what is the need being met? Trying to express a new concept visually to gain perspective. Two, what technologies are being blended? Symbolic modeling, second life, process modeling, Google Docs. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Thinking in 3D as well as 2D, in media as well as print. Four, is it working? I made that symbolic model a year ago. This week was the first time it reminded me of an abacus. It's still giving me new perspectives. Moving on to the next slide, please. What's your IPD? Interpupillary distance measures the distance between your eyes and is important for eyeglasses and even VR headsets. You can measure your IPD using a mirror and a ruler, or you can use a phone app, or you can ask your eye doctor. Which way should you go? It depends on your use case. For new eyeglasses, go with the doctor. For a VR headset, go for the mirror for now. Next slide. Yoink, thank you, Kayaker. Good idea, look, Kayaker. Alt click me and you'll follow the slide. Thank you, I, I should write that down. Headsets in medicine. Here's a case where a surgeon has two technology options. The first is physical. The top left picture in this slide shows a pair of eyeglasses with glued on microscopes. This loop is used for delicate skin, intestinal, and cardiovascular surgery. Surgeons have these loops custom made for their personal IPD and for different zoom lengths. The picture just below shows a surgeon wearing a VR headset loop with automatic internal IPD setting and variable zoom cued by detecting the surgeon's eyes and eye commands. The headset's internal lenses and motors are shown in the pictures on the right. One, what is the need being met? Hands-free zooming in and out while performing surgery. Two, what are the technologies being blended? Eye tracking, custom programming. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? This work was done as a collaborative case study between Vario who builds the headsets, and Virginia Tech, who provided the surgeons and programmers. Moving on to our next slide. What's your TLDR? 
The internet acronym for too long didn't read is TLDR and its earliest recorded use is the Urban Dictionary in 2003. The picture on the slide shows you or me when our focused attention span has been exceeded while working online. Estimates vary, but we can usually handle 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Yet even the most focused of us must break and refocus. What is the need being met? Getting and keeping your audience's attention. What technologies are being blended? Several options are listed here, such as move or get a snack. Our subject has chosen power nap. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? What if the material presented were to include built-in refocusing breaks? Moving on to our next slide. Biosensors in e-learning. Biosensors transform biological changes into electrical signals. The top picture in this slide shows a user who has been voluntarily wired while watching and reading material online. What is the need being met? Optimal communication of material by flat screen. What are the technologies being blended? EEG, ECG, GSR, eye tracking and facial coding. How does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Live biological measures of cognitive, emotional and physical engagement can be used to detect the presence or lack of sustained focused attention. Four, is it working? The bottom image summarizes Zoom presentation and ebook guidelines, including annotation, animation, and image choices to refocus and re engage attention for general and expert audiences. Moving on to our next slide. What's your MA? Music is a pleasing succession or combination of sounds and music awareness is our sensitivity to rhythm and melody. Music awareness shows when you hum a song or clap to a beat. Do you have a favorite song that you hum to? Do you have a favorite beat that you tap on your desk or stamp your feet to? 3D in music. Many people think of composing as having only to do with music. Composing can mean any activity, putting things together in an arrangement pleasing to our senses in the physical world. This includes sounds, images, ideas, tastes, fragrances, and vibrations. Thank you, Frank. In the online digital world, we are locked into ears and eyes for now. I stream a music composing channel. How I work in the metaverse has come to influence how I compose in music. And how I compose in music has come to influence how I work in the metaverse. 3D in music is near and dear to my ears and eyes. Going to stand up now and do a floor demo. Walking over here to the first set of colored objects. Keyboard and drum kit. This is a color coded keyboard. When I click the shapes, they make the 12 tone scale. Thank you, and so does the front row audience. Please continue, I enjoy it. Now you can't hear it on the media stream, so front row, let me sing it for them for a minute. 
Front row is having a blast here, guys. You should be here, YouTube, but don't worry, I sang it for you. Okay, and this is a color-coded drum kit. When I click these shapes, they make six percussion sounds. The kick, the snare, the tom, a hi-hat, the cymbal, and the cowbell. You can't hear it on the media stream, so oomph, oomph, oomph. Snap, snap, snap. Boom, boom, boom. Crash, crash, ting, ting, boom, boom. Well, you guys don't hear it. Good. You had to have your sound on. Somebody's playing it because I'm hearing it, but that's okay. Okay, we're going back to the top of the slide, guys. <laughs> you should see the big grin on my face right now. What is the need being met? Visualizing custom intervals for composing. What are the technologies being blended? Music notation software, wave files, scripting language, and trims. How does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Standard black and white keyboards are optimized for a seven note C major scale, the seven white keys. This does not work well for scales such as a seven note minor or a five note major. Nor does it tell you which are the root, mode, or other note functions from applied music theory. Thank you, Beth. But I had these all worked out on colored diagrams on paper. I tried putting sticky tabs on my real world piano, but they were awkward to use, and I still hit notes that were not supposed to be in the scale. I thought of making 3D piano kits where I could color code the notes by function and hide the ones not used. I didn't need to play the notes fast. I just needed to explore noodling among the custom intervals to find pleasing combinations. Four, is it working? I have now composed using eight different custom scales and feedback is positive. I've used these kits for audience demonstrations in Kitely and Second Life. Many people tell me I'm not musical. When I suggest clicking certain color combinations to see what they like, they get it. If you're interested to try these kits for yourself, pick up a copy at Expo 3 Booth 21. What is the need being met? Communicating the joy of expressing beyond words in sound and image. What is the cross-dimensional thinking involved? Turning music theory color diagrams on paper into 3D paper kits. Final slide. Okay, well, Nee, you have about 15 seconds to wrap up here. Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me just skip ahead to my conclusion. My conclusion is, Today, we defined hybrid tech as combining multiple tools to meet your needs and cross-dimensional thinking as shifting perspectives when choosing what tools to blend. And we posed four test questions. Applying these concepts is ongoing, requires learning, unlearning, and relearning. We sometimes do that and we sometimes resist with all our might, but we're driven by our interest to meet the needs that matter to us most. I appreciate your time and attention today. If you're interested in Further, moving theory into practice, come to my workshop Friday, 2 p.m., Composing for the New Era, an Operational Definition of the Metaverse. Thank you. Thank you, James, a.k.a. Sidearm, 
for a very informative and interesting presentation. As a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out conference.opensimulator.org to see what's coming up on the conference schedule. You won't want to miss our next session, which will begin at 2 p.m. in this keynote region and is entitled The Metaverse is Coming and OpenSim Can Show the Way. Also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 21 Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo 3 region to find accompanying information on presentations and explore the Hypergrid Tour resources in OSCC Expo 2 region, along with sponsor and crowdfunder booths located throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions. Thank you again to our speaker and the audience.